Hey guys, welcome to Specflow Tutorial Behavior Driven Development or BDD Session 8. In today's session, I will discuss how we can set up the order of Specflow hooks. So in the last session, you already seen what are hooks. So hooks are nothing, but in case suppose say we need to set up some precondition of the post condition, precondition like uh, setting up the browser, opening the browser, loading the URL, clearing the cache memory, right? These are the precondition and similarly post condition like quitting the browser, generating the report, clearing the cache memory, everything that can be added as part of the hooks. And in specflow, there are five different types of hooks are available. One is like before run, after run combination, before picture, after picture combination, before scenario, after scenario combination, before scenario block, after scenario block combination, before step and after step combination. So out of five combination, before test run, uh, uh, before after test run, before feature and after feature. So for this, right, method are static in nature. That is the reason if you want to write something in the console, that will be executed, but that console part will not be printed out in the report. But for the other three combination like after feature, before, uh, uh, sorry, after uh, scenario, before scenario, before scenario block, after scenario block, before step or after step, the method is non-static in nature. That is the reason in case you want to write something in the console and that will be printed out in the report, right? So let's try to run one more time. So we have two feature file, Google feature and then, uh, and then Facebook home feature, right? These are the two features file I already created in the spec flow project using BDD project, spec flow project. And definitely for these two feature already two step definition classes also available Facebook home page login and right Google home page login and in the last session we created the class for the spec flow hook where we have write down the five different combination of the uh, hooks right uh, test run uh, feature scenario scenario block and uh, steps for each and every uh, combination before and after will be there so total 10 hooks we have written down right so now if you want to run it with the help of the test and then text explorer and then if you want to rerun again right so whatever feature was already available in the two features file right those will be trying to execute it so in the two features file we have only having a uh, four scenario so four scenario will be executed and if you want to uh, get the desired result right from the test explorer you'll be getting it and every you can see that uh, excluding the first two hooks which is uh, that uh, scenario, uh, sorry, feature and then uh, the test run level because those are method or methods are static in nature and nothing will be displayed in the console, but step will be executed. Otherwise, scenario, scenario block and the before step, all the thing will be executed in the output as well. So that way, actually hooks work in spec flow. So now in today's session, we will try to see in case, right, same hook is available multiple time, right, where definitely the hooks can be repeated, but the method we need to change it, method name we need to change it because method should be unique in nature always in any class file, right, whatever uh, spec floor or any other class you are using, that not a problem, that not be a matter, right, it all should be always, it should be unique in that particular class file. So that is the way, right, we have executed and every time, right, uh, these are the relevant uh, hooks is getting executed. So by default, the hooks of the same time, example two before scenario hooks is there, are executed in unpredictable order. You cannot guarantee the order, right, in case multiple hooks is there with the same uh, hook name, right. Definitely method name will be different, but you cannot predict the order. But in case you want to do the uh, execution in the order wise, like one, two, three order, then you need to always rely on something which is called uh, order, right? So if user or need to ensure a specific execution order, they can specify the order property in the hooks attribute. So in specflow version two, they have introduced a new order parameter for the hook attributes, which as the name suggests, can be used to control the execution order. The rule are very simple. The hooks with a lower order value runs earlier than the one with a higher order value. If the order values are same, then the order is arbitrary. So we need to set up the order for two different same types of hooks. Whatever is the lower order that will be executed first, especially for the before and then after also, whatever is the lower order again that will be executed like that, right? So that is the way, right? We should write down the hook, okay? So let's go to the hooks class. 
so this is the spec for hook class now i will try to uh, create multiple hooks uh, for the before scenario and after scenario so these are the two scenarios already uh, of hooks already created right before scenario and after scenario now let's try to copy it okay so here i have copied it you could see the hooks level there is no error message is coming but at the scenario level right i mean at the method level error message is coming because the method should be always unique now here i can change that name of the hook right so give it like before scenario one and after scenario one here also you can change it to scenario one output right so that is the way now we change it to three here and again here it to three here also three and here also three right so that is the third second hook so i have given the name as three and this is the second hook say so before scenario two here it will be two output and after scenario three so it will be three like that so why okay it's three is already there so i need to make it two okay so i have right copied the same hook which is after scenario and before scenario three times right now three combination is there for the after scenario and before scenario right so this is the combination the first combination for which i change the method right method name method name is after scenario one and after scenario before scenario one and after scenario one also change the method body as well the second combination you could see that hooks name is not getting changed so same same hooks can be repeated multiple times but definitely the relevant method you need to change it and definitely overall your objective should be changed it accordingly right so we have three combination right so after scenario three before scenario three or before scenario two after scenario two same way i have just uh, sorry here also it will be two right i have changed the method body also so that relevant thing will be printed down in the console now i did not give any order right so random order i have tried to create it okay but here suppose say i need to execute before scenario one first then uh, uh, scenario before scenario two second and then before scenario th uh, third uh, is the third order so now i did not give any order just i have copied and pasted it in that hooks class right without any order right just is the here some order is there but that will not be the final order right now let's try to save the code and let's try to run it go to the test and go to test explorer and run it and let's see right whether all the before uh, mm, so scenario and after scenario three different types of hooks is uh, executed or not right three pair hooks for all the scenario now if you just you could see there are four execution four uh, pictures got executed four scenario got executed from two pictures file you could see right in method before scenario one then three and two is coming but i want to execute one first then two second and third at the third order right that will be my order one two and three but that is not working here similarly after scenario also you could see that is not ordered right i want to execute one first second second and third is the third order so what is the workaround i need to do here right so the order that is the already available in spec flow two person onward so we need to maintain the hooks order with the help of the order attribute right so how can i do that so there is an something called order i need to use it right order equal to one two three or any numeric value i need to give it so suppose in case i want to make execute it fast before scenario one and after scenario one and the first order right so i will before scenario and then here i will be giving called order right you could see something is coming here and you giving the suggestion here i need to give any value like right? 10 right similarly i can give any other value here also after scenario one or after scenario also here equal to 10 right then next one i want to execute called scenario 2 right that is my next order so here i'll be giving it called 20 and here also i can give it to 20 right so that you you know, no need to always right give that incremental order you can give any value random value so lower value will take executed first and then the upper value 
So in here for 3, I will be giving the order called 30. Right? And here also similar way, I can give the order called 30. So why I have given some differences here? So in case you are creating more hooks, right? So that, right, you can give suppose 25, 26, 27 like that, right? 11, 12, 13, 14 like that. So that is the reason I have given some differences. So that in case after some time you need to add few more hooks with the same name, right? So that every time you need to change the existing value also. But in case you are giving some spaces, right? The 10, 20, 30, so in the interim, in the mediator, right? You can create some more similar kind of hooks and you can give the order called 11, 12 or 21, 22, 23 like that. So that is the reason I have given some space, right? For the numbering also, 10, 20, 30. So this is the lowest order, right? So that will be executed first here. So it will be scenario 1 and scenario uh, scenario 1, before scenario 1, after scenario 1. Then the next order is 20. So that will be my executed first here. So before scenario, after scenario 2. And then 30 is the next highest order here, right? Out of, out of 3 hooks, hooks, this is the highest order. So it will be executed 3, last. So that is the way, with the help of the order, right? I can control the ordering of the hooks execution. Now if you just save your code, and if you try to execute it in the same way, you can click on the test and then test explorer then again you can rerun all your scenario so it will try to execute two features and from the two features it will try to execute four scenario but whatever hooks it will try to execute right now you can control the execution order for these hooks with the help of the order keyword or the attribute now you could see here if you select here you could see right scenario 1 scenario 2 and scenario 3 before the before part is got executed Similarly, for the after one, right, scenario one, scenario two, after method. So now I can control the execution whatever order I want to do, right, execute it. Similarly, for the other scenario also, on the other features file, Google features file, you could see, same way it is getting executed. So that is the way, right, you can do the ordered execution instead of arbitrary execution for the hooks, okay. So, so by default, in case you are not any giving any order, so it can execute any any random random order and you cannot make sure that right whatever specific order you want to execute it so that is the reason you need to introduce new order parameter for the hook attribute so which will right give you the solution to control the execution order in case right similar hooks is available or repeated multiple times okay so that's all from today's session thank you